Um, so I'm going to ask Brian, our CEO of the company Accelerate Marketing, uh, some of the most frequently asked local SEO questions that are out there um, for this year. And so Ryan, the first question that we have is, how do you remove duplicate directories? A great question, Crystal. So um, how to remove duplicate direct, uh, directories. So we, we were just doing, I was just doing this as recently as yesterday because you know, we like to drink our own juice and, and uh, as, as we like to say, and um, it is important to make sure that your directories are consistent, that your name, address, and phone number is consistent, not only for the directories so that they can rank you correctly, they can rank you higher, and they will rank you higher, by the way, if your name, address, and phone number is correct, on all the, we've, we've identified 73 top directories. There's many, many more than that, um, but we've just identified 73 that are, that are really the top, that are consistent amongst all um, you know, all businesses or all niches. And so the way, you know, sometimes you just got to get down and dirty. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta call them up. You gotta get to, you gotta get a hold of somebody at the, at the business. Um, it, unless you have a tool, uh, there's, there's other tools out there that, that connect your business to the directories via what, what's called an API. So the API, you can just think of it as, as a bridge. So that bridge is what connects your business information to the other directory so that you can basically change your name, address, and phone number in one place. And it syndicates that content out to all the directories out there that you're connected to with the API, with that bridge. So, um, you know, that, those are really the two major ways. I mean, you know, you can, a lot of times these, every directory is different. You know, sometimes you got to call them up. Sometimes you got to email them. Uh, I would definitely suggest that you send a uh, screencast video using either, you know, you know, Loom, which is what we use or, you know, uh, Camtasia uh, so that you can show instead of tell. We always say, you know, at Accelerate Marketing that we like to show instead of tell. And a lot of times, you know, there's a lot of different moving pieces that go along with cor correcting the name, address, and phone number on a directory. You might have three or four different, you know, directory listings. And sometimes you've got to go there and you literally got to search for your business and then show them all the different directory listings. And otherwise, they won't know what you're talking about. They, so it, it, it's, it's a lot of detailed work. And so that's why I suggest that you probably the best way to do it is, like I said, send a screencast video. Um, showing your screen and showing them what it is that the, that the problem is. And that way they'll be able to very, they'll be able to recreate it and then, you know, specifically change the name, address, and phone number on the directories and all the information the way that you want it to be changed without any, any questions because they can see it. They can see what you're doing. Yeah, I definitely like uh, Loom because it can paint that picture and really explain what you're trying to communicate. Um, next question, can you update directories with the business's latest offers and or events? Absolutely, yes. And let me just, let me just go back. If you guys wanna go to, uh, it's, I think it's loom.us or is it loom.io? I think it's loom.io, L-O-O-M, if you guys want to, it's, it's free. Um, it's a free system and, and it's, it's a very, it's very, very powerful system. Um, for, for screen oh, actually, so, it's useloom.com. Uh, useloom.com. There you go. Useloom, L-O-O-M.com. I'll um, add it in the thank comments. Thank you, Crystal. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then, um, um, so the question was, is, you know, how do you update your offers or can you update your offers, you know, on the, absolutely. And this is, look, the more thing, I just want to, this is really where it goes back to, like, <laughs> you know, ultimately, when you're a business, find ways to change things on the directories is what I like to say. In other words, make an excuse, whatever you have to do. It's like, I, here's what I want you guys to understand. You know, look, I want you to think of any time that you can change anything on the directories is an opportunity for you. And why? Because the more things that the more times that you change your, your, or, or add to your directories, like adding posts or adding questions. This is why Google My Business is so far ahead of the curve, in my opinion, 
or Yelp or Facebook is because they give you opportunities like Google does to create a darn post on your Google My Business page. It, it's giving you an excuse to be able to add content to your Google My Business page, your directory listing every single day if you want to, or add photos or add videos or change your offers. Or so in other words, you know, yes, most directories allow you to do this, not all of them. I'd say about 30 to 40% of the top directories allow you to add specifically an offer that you can change on a daily basis if you want to. Um, Google's one of them. Um, Yelp is one of them. Um, there's many, many more. Those are, you'll typically find are, are, the, are the top directories. Why? Because they give you the opportunity to use that directory almost like, a, like you would a website where you can add, add posts, you can add photos, you can add content. And that's the opportunity that you have as a business owner. The only question is, is are, do you have a system that makes it easy for you to add content like we do and like our system does so that yesterday when we met with our customer, you know, Crystal, he was blown away. I can add photos from my, from my phone. Yeah. Cause he was like, Hey, can you, he was sending us to, through Basecamp. We're like, you know, these photos or videos. And yeah. what's happening is, is that that process is just getting delayed and we're just the ones in the way. Mm -hmm. Why, why, why create us as a hindrance? Why not just give them the tools, the opportunity to, to send the photos via a text message or even a Facebook messenger message to those 73 directories via that API that I was talking about earlier so that they can update those 73 directories on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, or even multiple times per day. When you do that, you're going to, you're going to, the, the statistics are that you'll get 33% more real estate on the search engines when you do that. That's really, really critical for you to understand. Why is this important? It's because if you don't do this, you're not going to get found as frequently because you are not sending those social signals from the 73 directories that let Google, Bing, and Yahoo know that you're updating your content on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. And why would you want to go through somebody like us and have us tell your story? You can tell your own story and you can do it right from your, right from your, your smartphone. When you're out, you know, having an event or, you know, real time, that's what people want. They want real time information. So yes, you can update those events. You can update those offers and, um, and all other kinds of stuff. So look for those opportunities, the, the excuse, <laughs> I, you know, the opportunity, it's an opportunity that you have as a business owner to create more reach and get more visibility and more real estate out there on the search engines when you do that. Yep. Um, and then the last question, which kind of came across to me as a no brainer, but it was asked a lot. And uh, this question is, is rank tracking and reviewing analytics necessary? Mm -hmm. I think maybe they're um, asking that question because they don't quite understand how to read it maybe, but I, I was just shocked to see that question quite a few times. Who, where, where are you seeing that? Was that from um, in, in the, in the comments or is that like from some of our customers or clients? It's, no, it's, it's in comments. It's in some of the forums um, that have been asked oh, wow. for the last month. Yeah. I was just. In, at, so on Google point. or where, where? No, it's on coming from from a local SEO forum from not specifically from Google, but a different, a different local SEO forum. And I, I just thought, okay, if I'm seeing this a few times, then we better ask Ryan that question. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, I mean, what, again, it, it comes down to, you don't have to, but what an opportunity, because if I'm a business owner and I am doing all this work and I'm posting content and I'm not, tracking the benefits of that work, then what's the point? You know, in other words, if I'm not, if, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. So it's, no, it's absolutely not necessary. You're, you're, you're exactly right. There's <laughs> nothing's necessary. You don't have to do anything. I mean, you don't have to do any of this yeah. stuff. If you don't want to, but, but if, if you're going to do it, at least measure the benefits that you're getting, in my opinion, so that you can report back at your huddle meetings that like we have daily with our team or at your, 
level 10 meetings that we have on a, on a weekly basis so that you can say, hey, look, you know, these are the results that we're getting. And so once you quantify that with a rank tracker report, for example, Crystal, where we, where we look at 99 different keywords and we look at where that business is ranking organically and on the maps and with their videos for those 99 keywords and to see the progress over time with those 99 keywords. I mean, if we didn't have that report, we wouldn't be able to quantify the benefit and the value that we're giving as an agency to businesses. And therefore, like, you know, why would somebody continue to use us? So it's critical for us. I mean, I can just tell you that. And to be quite frank, I don't know that I want to work with it with a company that doesn't want to know that information because if we don't know, like we always talk about what our touchdown is, you know, mm-hmm. what our goal is and whether or not we've scored a touchdown, what's the point? It's like going out on the football field, you know, as a football team and playing a game of football and then not having two end zones. It's like, you know, there's no, <clears throat> there's no goal. There's no, there's no identification of when we've actually achieved, you know, what we set out to do. Yeah. And, and that can be in, a, in the form of a rank tracker report or, you know, we've got other reports where we can quantify even, um, like we talked about yesterday, with reputation. You can analyze what's being said in the reviews and the context around the words to see if there's neg- negative connotation or positive connotation so that you can take action. And that's really the point of all this is that as a business owner, I want to know what action to take based on the information that I'm getting from these reports, that's really the whole point is that it gives us the ability to be able to take corrective action as a company so that we can continue to go more straightly towards that goal or more precisely towards the goal that we're, that we're going towards. So whether that's increased rankings or increased, you know, analytics that we look at for, for example, for, um, you know, lead generation, you know, we're looking at everything from, you know, cost per click. CPC was an old one. Now we're looking at cost per conversation. That's a whole new metric. What does it cost you to start a new conversation with somebody? That's something that we'll just, I'll just kind of plant the seed there for you guys, because that is, that's the new metric in my opinion. And that's what I'm writing my book about. And, um, and so excited about because, you know, as a, as a sales guy for 15 years with, you know, big pharma, you know, I, in biotech companies, like I, there's always been this, con- <clears throat> this, this, you know, this contention, if you will, between marketing and sales. And, you know, this ties directly into our topic here, which is, you know, the, the reporting, you know, we, we it, there's always this contention about marketing starting, you know, starting more opportunities, but the salespeople were like, well, you know, I, they, they didn't get them for a little while. And there's this, there's this disconnect between marketing and then send, sending out emails and just bombarding these, these people. And then the, the, there's this disconnect between that and then the person and the sales department actually starting a conversation with somebody because nothing happens until that conversation started. And so that, you know, I would definitely highly recommend that if you're a business owner, that you start paying attention to that specific metric right there in, in your reporting um, as well. And you can do that even with these directories. I mean, you can now start with Facebook in particular, for example, you can start having or starting conversations in Messenger and, and, um, and you can start quantifying the amount of time and effort and cost that you spend in order to start those conversations in Messenger which is what, which brings me to, if you want to, com, you know, communicate with us, if you want more information, you can connect with us on Messenger. What a great, you know, uh, a great, uh, you know, opportunity segue right there. So, yep. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I have it in the comments, but you can connect with us on Messenger at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. I've also um, included a case study in the comments to where you can read this case study and and learn how a property management company got over 371 reviews on Google, got on the first position on Google Maps, and generated over 103 inbound leads per month from the search engines. And in order to do that, they, um, you know, like we were discussing why rank tracking and reviewing analytics is important is because that showed 
them how to move to the next level. So um, download that case study as well. And then Monday through Friday, we're live here on Facebook sharing some successful strategies with you on <clears throat> how to become the go-to business in your niche. So this week was all about local SEO. Next week is Google My Business. And the week after that is um, online reputation. Anything else you'd like awesome. to add, Ryan? <clears throat> no, was there was there another question or was there was there a third question or did we get to no, all of them? That was three that was all three <clears throat> questions. Okay. We just, you know, when you have when you're having fun, it's just you know, time just flies, you know, just don't know what to so um so that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Crystal, for for asking the questions and, and um yeah, we'll um you know, and keeping us on track and let us know. I mean, we'd love to start a conversation with you. We will definitely get back to you immediately if you start any conversations with us in Messenger. Just any just put a comment below, just below this video. Um, and we will get back to you for sure within twenty four hours and if and and within immediately within like probably 15, 20 minutes of us ending this video, you know, we will get back, get back to you with an audio or a video message and take you through and implement our conversation funnel strategy. I think that, I think the name of my book is actually going to be, um, combo funnel. So it's going to be pretty cool. That's what, that's what, that's what it's all about is starting more conversations. So if you want to experience that, start the conversation by just typing in a, a comment below and let me, let us know what you want to know more information about. And we'll start a conversation with you and give you some huge value. We've got so many, you know, different, I mean, we can definitely give you content immediately and deliver it to you. That's what's so powerful about, about chat and messenger in particular and is, and uh, you know, there's this buzzword about chat bots right now. And it's not just about chat bot. It's about the opportunity that you have, to be able to start conversations and deliver value quickly and immediately. We've got a whole library of, um, you know, what have been known in the past is lead magnets, which are just, you know, pieces of content that can help you get to where you want to go. And I can deliver those. We can deliver those to you immediately about any topics from reputation management to local SEO and at least get you started along the way um, today. <clears throat> Sounds good. Thank you, Ryan. Create a great yep. rest of your day, everyone. Thank you.